I found the rest of those candles. Um, this is Maui Melon. This one I never seen anybody um, haul. It's basil and herbs. Not bad, not bad. Harbor Sands. No, not interested. <clears throat> Let me smell the Maui Melon. I like the Maui Melon. And Citrus Grove is the one we found already. Yeah. Yeah, Maui Melon. I really like Maui Melon. So we found those. Also, these are candles that they have for Valentine's Day. Let me pause so I can open it. So that is really cute. Too bad the scent is not better. Um, the scent is is I, I don't I don't know what it smells like, but it doesn't smell like anything I would want to smell. Fresh pick candle. I don't see who it's made. But it's a soy candle. I really don't care for them. So um, yeah. So these are good finds, guys. The um, Flashpoint candles. Okay, this candle does not smell bad, and this one doesn't smell bad. It's just this lavender heart that um, is not appealing at all. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just <laughs> getting my candles that I'm going to get. They also have these um, reed diffusers. They've had them before. Personally, I've never tried them, but if you're interested, um, I haven't seen these before. They have these candles for Valentine's Day. I don't think they're scented. Yeah, I don't think they're scented, but they just have the uh, Valentine's Day um, design on them, if you're interested. This is the only one I see, um, but this is from Cake Mate, and this would be perfect if you were making a Valentine's Day, as you can see, cupcakes or a cake. I really don't like <clears throat> the way they taste, so, you know, I would look for other options as a way to garnish my um, Valentine's Day desserts. Um, they have the Whitman's Solid Milk Chocolate Heart, so they're getting ready. I mean, it's all about Valentine's Day right now in Dollar Tree. All about Valentine's Day. This is really cute. This is from New Color. And um, I did take it out of the box. This is a matte lipstick. Here's a heart-shaped lip balm. Here's another rosy-scented heart-shaped balm and makeup sponges. So this is really cute if you want to put together a gift basket for somebody, okay? And I think you could even use these for a bachelorette gift basket. It doesn't have to be necessarily for Valentine's Day. I think you can use this for Mother's Day. Um, yeah, I like it. I don't know how good the products are, but I like it. They also have these sequence keychain, okay? One is a red heart and the other one is a white one. That's silver, and when you do that, that's red. So those are cute. Okay, we're in a different Dollar Tree. It's the next morning, New Year's Eve. Um, these are the fortune cookies I've been seeing people on other YouTube uh, videos talk about. My greedy ass thought that they were real fortune cookies, but they're not. They're like a felt material, and they have fortune. And here is, they list what's on each fortune. Somebody had suggested um, you can make your own fortunes and put them inside, um, but these are them. So that's cute. Just wanted to share that. I've never seen anything yet in any Dollar Tree that said um, 2020, um, but this looks like all this particular location has as far as New Year's Eve items. And this is the cutest. That's cute, but that would annoy the hell out of me, so um, it will stay here. But they have the other party blowouts, and um, i seen more Mardi Gras decorations than I did um, New Year's Eve stuff. 
So in this box, I believe are the candles, okay? And as you can see, the box says Target. So those candles were from Target and they're now in Dollar Tree. So we're gonna see what's inside, if it's a different scent. This candle is Spring Dew, so this is a different one. And it does smell great. So be on the lookout. If you have been rocking with me, you'll remember these candle <coughs> holders that I showed on the upcoming finds. They are much bigger than what I expected. These are gorgeous, guys. When I say gorgeous, I, I mean gorgeous, okay? I'm like so excited. This is like an end of the year Dollar Tree wish list extravaganza. I'm really, really excited. Um, beautiful. And you also can hot glue these to um, a candlestick and just glam it up even more these are gorgeous gorgeous why do they always come out with the hot stuff after christmas when this could have been a fantastic gift i don't even know dollar tree you got to do better this is not what i'm looking for but you may be interested some of the new bolero hair products this is a detoxifying hair mask then they have a brightening hair mask um, soothing hair mask for all hair types and also a hydrating hair mask coconut and rose hip oil again not the products I was looking for but um, you may be interested in them they also have the uh, shampoo and conditioner okay again not what I was looking for but you may be interested they also have the body wash okay the black tea and lychee and the hydrating coconut and rose hip oil i'm looking for the facial mist um i believe they have wipes that's what i'm looking for i don't know why it's coming out in like small sections usually they have a whole big display i have not seen that yet i have a feeling if i drive further which i don't have the time to do today i would definitely probably find them i don't think i've ever seen these before these look like these fillers and if you're not happy with the colors these look like something you could easily spray paint and change the way they look these jot notepads they're really nice um, they come with a gel pen be your own kind of beautiful choose joy good vibes only yeah so we're going to go ahead and get out of here, guys, um, and we'll conclude with the haul. Hi, guys. Happy New Year. We're about to go into 2020, and I'm wearing these um, glasses that I picked up at the Dollar Tree last night. I'm telling you, um, <laughs> I don't advise you to wear these for long periods of time because uh, I feel dizzy right now. But I thought they were the cutest. I didn't see anything that I also got them in silver. I'm telling you, I feel dizzy, y'all. I didn't see anything that said Happy New Year. Well, that's not true. I meant like 2020 or anything like that. So I did pick those up. Um, while we're speaking of New Year's, I did get these two balloons. And um, I did, for Mr. Fuller's birthday, I have bought these in the numbers for his year to hang when we went on the cruise so i thought this would be really cute and i've seen people calling these they also had them in gold but i got silver i did get this um plastic tablecloth okay it has the silver the gold the black all right and anything else new year's no nothing else for new year's um you guys already know, I know you're tired of hearing me talk about these masks, but as you can see, I have one hanging there. I think these make great wall decor pieces. I did get this for my sister, okay, to hang on her wall. I was supposed to go this Sunday, but because I was under the weather, I'm going next Sunday. I'm trying to keep everything organized. Um, I did pick up from New Color this lip-shaped, it says Rosy Scented Lip Balm. And I also got this matte lipstick and like 
I don't think this needs to be just for Valentine's Day. This could be for a birthday. This could be for anything. What's the cutest about this lip is the heart. Okay, so I have my Glamour Mirror here. I'm going to try the lippy out. It's supposed to be a matte red. Uh, uh, uh. Don't waste your money, y'all. Don't. This is not coming off as red. It's hardly coming off at all. This is horrible. Don't waste your money. I tried it, so you didn't have to buy it, okay? Don't waste your money. This is not red at all. It's in like a pink family. It's not very pigmented and um, not worth it. So don't waste your money, okay? I'm happy though, moving on, that I found more of these candles, okay? From Flashpoint. This is Spring Dew. It's not one of my favorites, but it is a pleasant scent. These would have made fantastic uh, Christmas gifts, especially if you have that friend or family member, co-worker that loves candles. This is the Basil and Herbs. I like this one. Doesn't smell bad at all. Not too herby. And my favorite, even out of the Citrus Grove one that I found last week, has to be this Maui Melon, okay? Yes, the Maui Melon is my favorite. As you can see, that's like a hot pink. That's not red. Don't waste your money. This is my favorite one. It just smells so, so good, okay? So again, Christmas is over. There's always next year. If you have the storage, anniversary, birthday, Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, you don't have to, you can use this for so many, or just because you're going to somebody's house, a housewarming, you wanna take a candle. I love the ombre colors. These are fantastic. Um, something else that I didn't even know existed and I found in a box. Um, these ceramic tea light holders, okay? Again, if you have that person that's into this sort of thing, these would have made great gifts to get the whole set. There's three different ones. This one says love lives here. This one says welcome. Okay, and the spot for the tea light is in the back. It's white ceramic. If you want to get rid of the letters and change the color, paint it gold, paint it silver, it still would be pretty. And then you could put the letters back. They have those rub on transfers. This one says home, sweet home. Okay. And Dollar Tree sells a pack of tea light candles, I think 16 for a dollar. That would be a fabulous gift. Okay. My favorite are these right here, y'all. And if you watched my video that I uploaded last week of what's new and coming, these were on that list. And I also found these in the box. I love that. It's like that uh, mercury um, glass, okay? These are bigger than what I thought, okay? So this is the one with the blue. And you guys know this was not staying in the store. This is the one with the pink. I just think these are so beautiful. This also would be a nice gift, okay? And to match my desk, because I have the faux marble paper covering my desktop, is a, a marble cam candle. And these fit perfectly in here. If you wanted to add height, you can hot glue it to a Dollar Tree candlestick. You can do a whole bunch of other things. And I just got a plain white candle for this one that I'm hoping to put in the bathroom. These are the colors in the bathroom down here. But I don't want my husband, he's clumsy, to knock it over. So I have to really make sure it's secure. Another home decor piece that I'm going to be transforming. This is for my sister's space. But again, same thing like the other shadow box I got her. I'm going to paint this burlap black and the sides of that black um, and get rid of the gold detail. But I like the saying, as a, 
As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Okay? So that's for my sister. I think I have enough stuff for her space. I just have to run to Michael's to get that silver glitter paper that I didn't get to yet. Um, and I'm going to end it with socks. These are some good socks. These are the universal fit. It fits two sizes. These are men's size shoe sizes, 6 to 12 or 12 to 15. They do have stretch, okay? They're very comfortable. They have cushions. So I racked up and got Mr. Fuller quite a few pairs because these are gone, okay? So get it or forget it. So I got how many of the three of the black and gray. This one is a, not the same stretch one, but my husband likes lime green. I got these, okay? I got a pair of the ones that stretch on the blue, gray, and black. And then I got one pair of the white and blue, okay? And I, I do believe that, that my, I don't know about a size 15, 12 to 15. I don't know, but it definitely will fit Mr. Fuller. So... If you could found these, those this also would have made a great Christmas gift. I didn't see the full Bolero line. They really have some nice stuff out, guys. I'm on the hunt for the facial mist. They have this eye cream. They have a collagen cream. And somebody that I follow said that they've seen Bolero products in Marshalls. So, um, like I said, I have a love-hate relationship with them. As far as the hair care products and the shampoo, I'm not even going to waste my time. I will try that body wash that I got. Um, but I'm willing to give, uh, like, I'll try the eye cream and stuff like that. I do love their makeup wipes. I do. So, like I said, some things I love, some things I don't want to waste my time with okay so that's about it i don't know what you guys are doing for new year's we're going out to dinner and uh gonna come back here i think i'm going to make like in the air fryer some wings i might do some mini pork chops and stuff like that like finger foods because where we're going they don't give you large portions and if you're going to be drinking and stuff like that i just want to have like our d'oeuvres i'm on the hunt for the pioneer woman i see those commercials and i'm like I want to try those goat cheese, fried goat cheese bites. I can't find them. Um, I looked it up online and it said that they're carried by Walmart and ShopRite and I have never seen them. So I'm going to be making my way to the supermarket. Um, I did a couple of loads of laundry today. I didn't take down any Christmas decorations. I just didn't. I'll worry about that another day. I mean, I know people say you should take it down before the New Year's, but it is what it is. They're still up. And I don't think I ever had them down before New Year's, so. That's about it. But um, no New Year's resolutions. Just, um, <laughs> I'm not going to say they're pointless. There's nothing wrong with having a vision. There's nothing wrong with having goals. But I don't feel that I've mastered the ones that I set before. So how do you add new when you still have so many old things? But um, it is what it is, guys. Um I'm just looking forward to uh, 2020. Um, that's it, basically. Um, elevating the channel. Um, bringing you guys different content, not just Dollar Tree, more crafts. And speaking of, my chandelier is up. I'm going to be ordering lights to go along with the chandelier. The ones that I had are too long. It's 13 feet. That's a small basket. It just wasn't working out. Also, I don't want to have to be fumbling with it all the time. I want to... Um, they do have fairy lights that have remote control. Um, i seen some on eBay, but they wouldn't be here for an extended period of time. But I need a shorter strand of light. You don't need those long long lights so definitely i learned a lot making this one um i know better for the next time so this was a learning experience so 2020 improving the channel up continuing to upgrade the channel bringing you more crafts hauls from different stores not just dollar tree but it's always going to be dollar tree so i'm sorry um yeah and that is about it i mean of course there's always health there's always 
you know, personal relationship, things that you, you know, that I can improve on, you know, career goals or work goals or whatever like that, that I can improve on. But those have been there year and year and year. And I, you know, never really addressed them. So I'm not going to just add those to the list. But other than that, as far as my YouTube channel is concerned, definitely upgrading the channel, definitely bringing you guys different kind of content. And that's about it. Thank you for all the new subscribers. Welcome. Thank you for the ones who have been there for, for me and with me. I hope you guys have a fantastic New Year's Eve. Please be safe. No drinking and driving. Um, just enjoy the time with the loved ones and the family members while you have them. And I got to show you guys, look at this beautiful phone case that just came. I got it from Amazon. If you're interested, let me know and I'll put the link down below. I have a Galaxy S9. They make these for almost all the phones, all the iPhones. Look at the bling, look at the bling. I can't wait to put it on my phone, but I'm recording now. And that's about it. I'm going to show you guys um, the chandelier, okay? It's hanging right there. Here it is, it's hanging. And my husband was like, I don't want you to block the hello. I like the hello. But it's not blocking it, as you can see. And I know it's there. I just always wanted a chandelier hanging. I can't wait to make it again because... It's going to be better because I have learned some things and I will be recording that video and I still, we still will be making a nice side table using Dollar Tree items too. Um, it just, I just didn't expect to get sick and then all the other things that we're going through now, um, you know, in my husband's family. Okay. His mom, you know, is in the hospital. So, um, it's been crazy. It's been crazy. It's, it's really been crazy. And family members are starting to get crazy, which is making me crazy because I'm not nice like Mr. Fuller. Okay? You'll catch that two-piece real quick, but that's enough. It's a G-rated channel. Let me show you uh, the chandelier. Um, I'm very pleased with it, okay? I, I do want to add lights to it. In the middle are the beads that I made using acrylic gems, okay? So it's just line like a fishing line with acrylic gems, one on each side, okay? Um, they're curved because the line was curved. Now, this one is not curved because I flat ironed it. I'm saying, how am I supposed to get the curve out? But the other ones I had already put together, so I'm hoping they will straighten with time. If not, um, I don't know. But other than that, that doesn't bother me too much. It kind of looks like I want it to be that way. Um, I painted the floral wire, okay, uh, to match the chandelier. It was very easy to work with and hook. And I just purchased a hook from Walmart, okay, that I put into the ceiling that's holding the chandelier. And, you know, these are stolen from a lamp I had upstairs. Um, but for the next one, I will be purchasing um, chandelier beads. Um, again, I'm in love with it. I can't wait. I also added some teardrop uh, acrylic gems. I can also add more. Um, you could really build on this, do as much as you want or less, um, but I'm happy with it. I'm really, really happy with the way it turned out. I always wanted to make a Dollar Tree chandelier. There's tons of video on YouTube about making a chandelier and... Um, I'm in love with it. So again, guys, happy new year. I hope you enjoyed this Dollar Tree haul and uh, take it easy. You'll be hearing from me soon. I have this uh, grown and sexy uh, Walmart, um, you know, lingerie or sexy sleepwear video that I'm going to be doing this week. Um, I can't do it today, but I hope you enjoyed that. And again, God bless you all. And thank you for rocking with me. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.